haul to do today. Um, I got a big old box in the mail today. Well, actually, it didn't come in the mail. It was UPS. And it was left on my front door, I believe, probably when we were out at the park. Well, I mean, at the field today. We were there for a couple hours, and um, so when I came home, we go in our back door. They left this big box at the front door, so I didn't even know it was there until like 8, 45, 9 o'clock. I went to take Lincoln to the field, and our neighbor upstairs said, hey, just so you know, you've got a package on your front door. I was like, oh, okay, so I, ran to, I went to get it, and it said it was from Kara. Um, online she is the principal painter I will try to remember to link her in the description and um, definitely go and check out her new channel she's awesome I love her already well I loved her before she had a channel now that she has a channel I love her even more so uh, she sent us something uh, she sent Maddie a birthday card so thank you thank you Kara um, I so, so appreciate that you did that. And also she sent a diamond painting. So the diamond painting that she sent, it is for a, um, the, our auction, upcoming auction that is, um, hopefully going to be May 9th and we will be doing partly silent auction. And then we will have some live auction stuff going on as well. We do have a pay. I did create a page today for that silent auction. Um, I will link that in the description below as well, so definitely go like that page, hit that notification um, so that you get the notifications when things are posted. Uh, because we, like I said, we will be doing a lot of silent auctions um, and sneak peeks and all that good stuff. So, um, this one though is not just any diamond painting. No Sir Bob. This, this one right here, guys, is a, a, like, nobody else will get this. Once, if you get this one, nobody else can get this. Um, this is a licensed image from a student at Kara's school who thought it was just a doodle. Let me say, it is not just a doodle. Uh-uh. And this comes to us, guys, from Distracted by Diamonds. Do you recognize that name? If you don't, maybe you recognize this one, Paddywax. Mm-hmm. You definitely recognize that one because Patty Wax has taken the diamond painting community by storm. Um, if you haven't heard of it, I don't know where you've been because it is huge. Um, I have my Patty Wax sitting right here next to me. Um, and Robin owns Patty Wax. She now also started a new diamond painting company called Distracted by Diamonds. That is what we have in our hot little hands today. So, um, I'm going to open this. I'm going to show you the new product. I'm going to let you know what I honestly think. Uh, the quality of the canvas, the glue, the symbols, you know, everything. One thing I do like is I love the box. I think it's adorable. The little diamonds. The sides have butterflies. And if you know me, I love butterflies. Love butterflies. Um, so, and I love that it's just, it's just a beautiful, sturdy box. On the side, it says what the package includes, and it includes high definition painting canvas, a stone diamond tray, drill pen, and, um, painting mud. So, on the back, it does give you instructions. So, if you are new to diamond painting, you do have some instructions right there on the back that you can go by. Uh, so, without anything else, let's just open her up. I am excited. I saw her open. Oh my gosh, something just flew out. Sorry. I saw her open this one on her channel. And I was like, that is not no doodle. Like, not a doodle, guys. It's adorable. Just wait. Uh, so, standard. Standard kit. You got your boat. You got your pen. You got your uh, wax. And you got some, you know, some baggies. We aren't that worried about that. What we're more, and then we got our, our drills, which we will look at in a hot minute. But this is what we've came for, right? Right here? Yes, yes, yes. Are you guys excited? I'm so excited. Okay, by the way, this is a round. It is a 40 by 50. 
Oh my gosh. Tell me that's a doodle. I mean, come on. That ain't no doodle. I'm gonna turn it to the side so you can see the entire thing, like all together. Maybe I can make my camera go a tiny bit higher. One of my tripods broke, and so I'm still, I'm like working with my, what it's called a lazy arm. Anyways, <laughs> anyways. Oh, oh my, I'm, I'm in love with this kit. If I could keep this one, I would, but no, this one is going in that auction, you guys. It's gonna make us a little bit of change for Maddie's. Um, I'm sorry, I'm losing train of thought by looking at this adorable painting. So this is going in the auction for Maddie to raise money to get her a new service dog for her type one diabetes. We lost her service dog, unfortunately, last December due to liver failure. Um, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so stinking. I keep looking up at my camera because of this is so cute. I love the facial expression on this guy. It's adorable, like, oh. Okay, so first off, I wanna say this. Um, the canvas is really, it's a nice canvas. It, it, it reminds me of Mystical Diamond uh, painting. Like, I got them. I did the skull. I don't know if you remember if you've been with me that long. I did a skull. It was like a maroon, purple, teal skull. Really, really pretty can. But, um, and it, it reminds me of that canvas. Um, I don't know if this says, like, the material of it. Where did my box there? I don't know if it says um, the material of the canvas. I don't think it does. Um, maybe I can try to find that out for us, but we'll see. But anyways, it is a very heavy-duty, nice material. It has um, that serrated edge, though. You see that? So that means your canvas will not fray. That's why they do this, if you ever wondered. This means like your actual canvas where you're working, you're not gonna get a bunch of like strings and it's not gonna stray. It's stray. You know what fray is the word I'm looking for. It ain't gonna stray on y'all either, I promise. <laughs> Anyways, um, he is so cute. So stinking cute. Now, from afar, it kind of looks like all this is one color, but it's not. It's actually, I know it's, I can tell you for sure it's two colors, but it might even be three. One, two, three, four. So this is like, yeah, not solid. This is some confetti going on in here. Not horrible, um, but there is some, some confetti. But you know what? Confetti makes some detailed art. I will say that for sure. So, um, but anyways, he's so cute. Okay, so there are 35 colors. It is a 40 by 50 centimeter, which I am going to measure it. But first, I'm going to show you the thumbnail. So, where is it? There's the thumbnail right there. Um, okay, there is no inventory. And there's no like sticker or labels or anything like that. So if, you know, just putting that out there. Okay, I gotta find my tape for this. I don't know where my cute one is. I think my daughter might have taken it. Okay, we're gonna go from the, the drill area and see if it's true to size. 40. By 50, it is perfectly true to size, you guys. Like, on the mark, true to size. Um, I love her logo. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So stinking cute. Distracted by Diamonds is on the top. And then her logo is right there. Isn't that adorable? I love that logo. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring you a little closer so that you guys can see. Um, check out this sticky, shall we? Okay, it is poured glue. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's that's like heavy-duty stick, guys. Um, that's, yeah. That's like Diamond Art Club stick. And the plastic over the top, 
wonderful. Um, it lays right back down. It's This is some really nice, nice glue. Uh, nice plastic on the top. Um, let's look at the drills. I mean, the drill field. All right, so let's go down a little closer. There we go. Yeah, this is um, exceptional. Like, it really is. It is super, super easy to see. Um, there is no black, like, dummy circles on them. They do have the circle, though, which is nice, but then the color is directly behind it. So I won't, yeah, it's, it's, um, you're not going to have those black lines behind that, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, this is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I'm really impressed, to be honest. Um, I wasn't sure because a lot of times, you guys, when you start a new company, there are some details you got to iron out. But man, it seems like she ironed them out because this is definitely quality. Now, Robin is a diamond painter herself, so I think it's like she knows what what we want. You know what I'm saying? Something else I wanted to say before we go ahead and take a look at those drills that I'm really, really impressed with is, and I don't know if you'll, you guys can even really see it on the camera. I'm going to try to show you, go, though. The glue, it doesn't even hardly go over the edge. Like, it is pretty incredible. I don't know if you, if my camera can pick that up where that glue goes, but it is like, I mean, on this side, it goes a tiny bit. I'll show you where it goes to. It goes right there. But on this side, look at that. Okay, you can kind of see that. Look at that shiny. It doesn't even go like, I mean, it's like a hair over. That's it. Um, That's crazy how spot on that is. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. We're going to put this aside, even though I could look, look at his little face all day. He's so cute. Whoever did this, which I don't know the name of the student that drew this art, um, but it is definitely more than a doodle. It is artwork, and I am in love with it. I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to want this one, but only one of you lucky people out there will be able to get your hands on this. And remember, the money that you spend on this guy is going to a great cause for a great 10-year-old little girl who happens to be my daughter. Okay, we're going to put that to the side for just a second, and we're going to look at these drills. I do apologize for the lighting. Yes, it is nighttime, and yes, I am an impatient child, and I could not wait <laughs> to get my hands on this. Like, I was like, I have to see it tonight. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. So, okay. Um, if the noise bothers you, you best mute it now. Because we are going to be ripping into these. I can already see that if you are a baggy lover, guys, it, this is coming kitted up. Like, it's all kitted up for you. You don't got to do none of the work. Um, and you can just work right out of these bags, which is really, really great for a lot of you that like to work out of bags. Um, I myself, bags drive me crazy, but I still like this because it's easy to, you know, get to kit up. Okay, but um, these all have the DMC, which, yes, because some companies don't do that. And then it's like, if they're good drills, you don't want to throw them out. So I love, love, love that the DMC number's on there. The DMC and then also the weight. So that is why you don't get an inventory sheet because she's going by weight. Um, and so, yeah, you're, you're hopefully guaranteed that. And I don't know, um, I didn't see if, let me look, because it should say, if there is a guarantee on those drills down here. So it is waterproof. That's cool. Water tightness. Weird. Waterproof. It's anti-fade, um, non-ironing. It means you don't have to iron out. It doesn't say anything about drills, but you know what? I've never seen a company, especially like a reptile company, like Robin would run, um, like she does with her paddy wax. 
I don't see somebody like that saying like you run out of girls, tough noogies, <laughs> you know, like I, and I will try to find this out for you, but I am sure if you run out of drills, which I don't see, you know, why that would be a problem if they're weighed, but, um, I'm sure she would replace those drills if there was an issue. Um, okay. So these are absolutely beautiful. Look at that color. You guys, ah, oh, so, so pretty. So pretty. A lot of these colors are going to be those like um, nudes, like gray kind of colors that's kind of around the fox. And then like his his uh, scarf. And then you're going to have your pale pinks and stuff like this and like these to go um, on his actual scarf. When I said scarf before, I meant hair <laughs> coming down these would be his actual scarf and then you got some reds and maroons for his eyes and of course you're gonna have your three tens for his ears and his nose and then some of the outline um which we are gonna take a look at some three tens we're actually gonna pour those ones out because those ones like the darker colors they're so mass produced that is why they have so many issues that's why you have more trash and more um square drills that have knobbly bits and that are misshapen and everything in blacks and dark colors because they're so mass produced isn't that a beautiful color orange though like that is like electric uh, that's very very pretty the air is taken out of these too which i do like because usually you're not going to have a bunch of static drills, which drive me insane. Um, we've got some other pretty oranges and some oranges and some like greenish tans and some mauvey browns. And we've got this one is like a light, 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 light sea foam. It's almost white, but it's not. It's actually like a sea foam green, but you're not going to be telling that in the painting. I can tell you that. Um, that is like i don't even know what color orangish brown i would say i don't know whatever whatever we're gonna pour these actually though out into a little um drill you know my goodness it's late guys it's 10 o'clock i was too impatient to wait i apologize my words have escaped me for the day they're like you're done dude you are done we're gonna pour these out and we're gonna look at them to see like how how much trash is in them are they good like you know solid or yeah we've got one little yellow hiding out in there trying to be one of the black ones but didn't quite make it that's okay that happens all right let's shake them shake them shake them shake them shake them let's shake them shake them shake them shake them shake them I don't know why I'm singing this tune right now, but let's shake them, shake them, shake them, let's have shake them. Okay. They're beautiful drills. They really are. Whoops. I guess I should show you rather than myself. <laughs> um, they are sparkly. They are, um, I don't see any trash at all, which is pretty impressive. The fact that they are black drills. I mean, look at that shine and sparkle, you guys. Look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful. I love it. Yes, these are some good high-quality drills. I definitely, definitely, um, yes, thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. So, yeah, these drills are amazing from what I can see. Um, the canvas is amazing. The glue is amazing. The st um, symbol quality and clarity is awesome. One thing I didn't really look at, and I'm going to pull it back over and look at it in just a second. I just want to get these back in here. Um, I'm really surprised at being that these are the blacks that I didn't see not any trash in them like that's pretty impressive um in my book anyways i am very impressed by that so good on you for finding a great distributor for your drills um okay let's close this up one thing i want to look at are these symbols normal <laughs> um if you've diamond painted much you know exactly what i mean because there are some symbols out there that you're like, what, what, what is that? Okay, so we've got 
a triangle, some letters, that normal pill one that you see, uh, more letters, a star, letters, two lines, hourglass, more letters. Okay, so these are pretty dang close to look like each other, the Y and the Y, but they're so different colors that it's okay. You know, they're, they're different um, just by a little bit. If these two were like, let's say those two in color, I would be like, what were you thinking? But because they are like basically white and red, like they're so different, it's not going to be an issue. Um, we got our microphone right there. We've got our moon. Um, we've got our dot number. Um, we've got, I'm not sure what I'd call that one right there, guys. It looks like a planet. I'm going to call it a planet. Got a diamond, um, a spade, a check mark, a number, our hazard sign. So everything here is pretty standard. Um, I mean, this one I haven't seen a lot of. Um, but yeah, they're pretty standard. Nothing is going to be uh, hard on your eyes. I'll say that because that's when it matters is when they're like really crazy on your eyes. Um, it's hard to, to concentrate and when they're like super similar together and then they're like so close to the same color. No, that's not good. So nothing like that in here. So yeah, I would definitely give them a thumbs up. Um, I would definitely stock her Etsy store. That is where you can purchase these kits. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. She will get new ones and put more on. This one, though, will not be coming back. This fox is done. So if you really like this fox image, you got to come and bid on it. So um, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoyed this unboxing. If not, that's okay. I understand. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but with that being said, don't forget, as always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are definitely loved more than you know. So with that, keep shining, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.